welcome to episode 105 of Madhouse Militia Presents, Activating the Clinical Tone Hole. We wish to give thanks to the following people for helping make the show go, such as Dwight the Janitor, Wasted Memory for RogueServer.com, and his Mumble server, which we use each week, at RogueServer.com forward slash AKSPA at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific on Friday nights. That's where we do our live show. We wish to thank Dragomir for the corn down at corndown.com. We also wish to thank our patrons such as Brian N., Mig Chungus, Jayad, Ryan T., Travis B., Goldrust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts, 666, Jesus Paynus, and Turbo, the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Madhouse Militia. You can find our YouTube at Madhouse Militia and our TikTok at Immoral Hole. You can find our archives at travelswithmiriam.com. If you wish to contribute to the show, you can visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. Your call has been. What's cool? How can I help? Hi, Hello? um, this is the hotel right next to the fields, right? Uh, right next to the legion. Like there's fields, like there's tall grass and fields, right? Uh, yes, 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 yes. And you guys have the donkey? I do. Uh, sorry. Somebody has a donkey in the field, right? Uh, no. Oh, then why did my friend tell me that when he went to your hotel, he smacked that ass? Hmm. I have no idea. Are you talking uh, about the Can I come and smack your ass then? Who is this? Yes, please come in and smack my ass. My name is Gerber. Hey, Gerber, you want to smack my ass? Yeah, I want you to bend over in front of me and I'm going to smack your little bubble butt. Sure, sure. Put Anytime. Vaseline do and that. baby oil on my hand. Please really go loud. in and do that. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Some fucking idiot. <laughs> yes, yes. You're, you're hey, I'm not a fucking idiot. Who's that lady? What is she doing here? <laughs> it's me and you two. You know, with her. <laughs> well... Doesn't she actually like you know, sounds like your mom? And I'm fucking your mom? And I'm... Oh, yeah, like my mom. My mom's there <laughs> with you. Hi, yeah, I'm outside here. Uh, fuck me. There's a man fuck here. Me. He's trying to get me to do things with him. Uh, he said he oh, works please. for you. Dude, I, dude, I need dude. help. Can you give me a call dude, back? Uh, uh, oh. Come inside, Hello? 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 Oh God! Oh, oh! What's that? Hello? Hello? Yeah, you, what is this thing out here? Hey! It's got my boot. It's got my boot. What's this thing? It's, it's trying to eat me. Where are you? I'm out here by the by the green. Oh. What a green one. Me. <laughs> Hello. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, the green tree here, by the the, the 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 pines, and the water. It's trying to eat me. Well, maybe it will eat you. <laughs> Help. Who are you calling? The Johnstowns. For what? Oh, I was staying with you. You're and staying the, with me? Yeah, my boot. He's got my boot. Who? Then he works for you. <laughs> He's 
got my boot. What are you talking about? Is his name Terry? Hello? Our soul Terry? No, it's Terry, but Terry it's Maki. Terry Maki. His shoot. name is Terry Maki. No, he's Terry the Terrier. He's a dog. Yeah. He's not a Terry. He's a human. Where are you? What are, are you, you talking about? I'm about We're at the Center down. for Talking Dogs. Where are you? I told you, the Center for Talking Dogs. Where well, you, keep, you keep talking to the dog there. Okay, put your wife on the phone. <laughs> Bridgewaters. Hello. Hello. What can I do for you, Teddy. sir? Hello. Teddy Maka. Mozara. Hello. Huh? What can I do for you, sir? Hello. Who's there? Uh, Hello. Uh, I'm pulling my pants down right now if you don't talk. Talk to me. <laughs> Yep. What can there I do go. for you, sir? Yep, and there it is. I'm going to begin the touching. Yes. Oh. Oh. Mr. S- Mr. Silverstein. Oh, worry. Mr. Silverstein, worry. I told you. Hey. I'll be done in a sec. Yes. I oh. think I told you not to use the phone. Go back to your room. Yeah, it must be a joke. Okay. Go back. I told you not to expose yourself to the residents here. Oh, here comes the sun, little... Little Peak, Jen speaking. Hi, yeah, I have a question regarding your uh, your bed and breakfast machine. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, like, when I get there, can I turn on the light and, and use the light beam to activate my, my rocks in the room? Because I, you know, the the eclipse it happened. And I managed to charge my rocks, and I, I've been driving back up here, and uh, I just need to, you know, stay for a little while, and I need to activate them though. They need to be activated because the eclipse just charged them, but I need them activated. <coughs> That'll make it so I can, you know, return home. Uh, none of what you're saying is making sense. Well, no, see, I it's got I got the 90- rocks. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just had this question, like, would it be all right if I used the light in, in the room to, to activate things? I don't know what you're talking about. There's no light in the room of any of the rooms. Oh, you I've don't seen any, them. There's no, there's no lamps? There's no lights? Like, uh-huh. yeah, there's no switch to turn on yeah. the light and so you can see at night or no? Are you, you use candles there? No, you're, you're not making any sense. But you, how do you light up the room? Like if it's nighttime, I go in the room. Like, what? How do I turn? What do I turn on to make it? You know, so I can see. Where are you calling from? Oh, I'm calling from my cell phone. Elf. Elf. Yeah, let me put my brother Where are you on. talking? Because I don't think I'm supposed to be on the phone about talking about the rocks. Here. Uh, hello. Good evening, Noble Spirits. How may I help you? Hi, I'm Hello. looking for uh, Sugma. Pardon? I was looking for a man named Sugma. Uh, you, I don't know. You're calling Noble Three so Hotel in Brockville, so obviously uh, you must have the wrong number. No, there's a man there named Sugma. There's also a man there named Sagandi. Um, well, I, uh, I, by law, I cannot reveal who stays here, and I don't have a telephone system. So, if you need to get in touch, with I'm them, not I'm asking you to here. reveal anything. I'm just telling you, there's a man there named Sugma, a man there named yeah. Sagandi, and Sagandi's out there for an operation mm-hmm. on. Uh, he has ligma. Listen, let me just let me let me. Call Sagandi's me wife's name is Candice. Just a second. I don't. Just, just let me call up my my reservations here. This is on you. No, 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 so. no. Fine. Um, they like to listen to Imagine Dragons. 
Um, so I can let me just. And their favorite uh, show is Dragon Ball Z. Um, what, is the, what is the name you're talking about again? What's the name of these people you're saying? Sagandi? I don't have anybody by that name staying here. Oh, you know why? Excuse me, sir? Yes? I just told you. You know why? I just said I don't have anybody by that name staying here. Because he's Sagandi's nut. Ha 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 Evening. Thanks for calling Comfort and Rock for goal is to always exceed your expectations. My name is Catherine. How may I assist you today? Hi. Do you guys Hi. have cable? Hello? You heard me. I said, do you guys have cable? Uh, basic cable, yeah. Do you guys see Dragon Ball Z? Uh, we don't get that channel. God, here, talk to my, my husband, Elasma. Hello. Hello. Hi. Well, what was my husband talking to you about? Uh, he was asking if we have cable. Oh, he just needs a cable, you know. Uh, he means for wrapping things up. Like, uh, you know, for protection. Well, yeah, he needs to wrap a cable She's around his thing. Tripping. She's tripping. You know, I'm gonna you put know my the brother around newspaper? here. Do you, do you just talk to yeah, her? Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to problem solve. We're kind of a think tank. Um, do you know when you get the newspaper at home and that plastic bag on it that they put on it when it rains? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Do you think that yeah. would work in lieu of a condom? Like if I used the bag exactly. and put. Hello. Unlikely. Did you? Well, th there is a rubber band. I could use the rubber band to secure it. So are you is there anybody there with any medical? Tr oh? Well, we have a lot of questions, and one of them is alternate means of contraception. Possibly with the newspaper. Okay, this cover. is a hotel, and I have no idea about alternate means of contraceptive. You this should. Is a hotel, not a lot of people are having office. sex there. Have you figured out? A lot oh, of that's not my problem. Yet? A lot of people are having sex there. You should have that information available to them. Yes, yeah, I, I, I caught you. What'd you say? There is internet. Oh, but isn't it blocked? Like you can't search for the dirty sites? Like what if they need help knowing how to do it? I don't know, but this has nothing to do with the hotel, so I have to let you go. I have guests to deal with. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, my balls are really itchy. Hello. 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 <clears throat> yeah, um, we want to go over there. Which room? The big room. Hello? Big room. Huh? Huh? The big room. Which room? Big one. Big. I, I don't know which room. Are you calling I from? want that big room. What do you? Come on, man. What do you? You, you need to listen. Okay. Yes, now I listen. Okay. Go ahead. Can we have okay. the room with the free 
tortillas, please? There was an advertisement. It said rent a room and get eight free tortillas. Sorry? Oh, oh is it? Okay. It was How a many promotion. people? It's oh, promotion. Rent one room. Why are you uh -huh. talking over me? I'm trying to... Yeah. It said rent we one want room. a room with two men in one bed. Okay. Uh -huh. And eight tortillas. Yeah. Can we do that or no? Are you going to judge us? How much charge? Tortillas. Huh? Tortillas. Tortillas. I don't know what you're saying. God damn it, Napoleon. Make yourself a damn quesadilla. Don't you know? Pinche maricón cabrón de mierda. Oh, shit. Huh? Mexican chili. Hello? Uh, hi, uh, we had an accident in the room. Uh, we got Mexican chili all over the floor. It's uh, all over the bed. It's all over the ceiling. Uh, what I happened? Swear, it's not, it's Which not room explosive. I... It's not diarrhea. What what room are you in? Well, the one near the office. Uh, we were put in here a couple of days ago. Uh, we've been we've been making things in the room. You know, food. I don't know if you, you smelled some of the things. Some of it was good, but then we we spilled the Mexican chili everywhere. Which room number? Uh, it's uh, number? two. Two. Which, I, which motor you stay? Blue Jay? Uh, Robin. Robin's. Room number yeah, seven? Yeah, yeah. Rock and Robin, yeah. 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 We're over here so, in seven, yeah. The, the chili went everywhere. Uh, what are we supposed to do to get it off the ceiling? Because we had a problem with mustard the other day. The mustard was spraying everywhere. Uh, my son, no, he I got a, a whole big box. Uh, you got a big box of mustard. A different, mustard. A different motel, probably. You're talking different. No, we didn't see anything. No, we're, we're here in Robin's ho Motel. Uh, or seven, 17? 7? 17? I don't have room. Well, 17. 11. 11 plus 7 is 18, but that doesn't sound right either. Maybe it was room second. 10? Well, my wife fuck. set it up, and she locked us in here. We don't have the keys to get out. We can't leave. That's why we're having such a situation, you see. Otherwise, one, I would have gone second. out and, and gotten cleaning supplies myself and fixed this issue, but she locked one, us one in second. here. One second. One second. Let me oh. check it out. Oh, okay. Let me check it out. All right. Okay, so you said a couple of days ago. What's your name, sir? Oh, it's Johnson. Big Johnson. Big Harry Johnson. Nice to meet you. I think you uh, you're talking about a different motel. I don't have in my. Well, we were at the on. Blue Jay, and he kicked us out. You know that, oh, that so guy over there. That guy over yeah. there. He's a real he's a real motherfucker. You know. I think you're talking a different motel after that because I don't have your name registered in my motel. Bastard. Don't get me started with the Parkside. There he threw us know, out. I... Next, you know, down the road there. I don't know, but I don't have the, your name registered here, so it must be a different motel then. Oh, well, my wife set it up, though. and She has a different no, name. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I don't have yeah. your name or your wife's name here registered, so it must be well, a different no, motel. Her, her name's different. Her name is Chutia. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, no, that's her name. It's Chutia. Hmm. I don't have the name either higher. Uh, maybe it's under her, her maiden name, Banchod. No, that name is no. not You have that name? Oh, maybe I do have the wrong motel. Yeah, because I don't have any of these names, sir. Sorry. Oh, what what about lovely in? sister? You have your lovely sister there for me to hug mm, and kiss and I'm, touch? Mm, I don't have that name either, sir. Here, Thank you for calling Motor Six Peter Pro. Hi, hi. Uh, I had a situation um, out here in the parking lot. Okay, what happened? A uh, man. He he came up to me. He said he was selling tacos, and uh, then he he pulled a taco out of his pant leg, 
and started force feeding it to me. And he said he worked at the hardware store next door. I'm sorry, are you actually calling to Model 6? Yeah, yeah. And he, he's, he's forcing tacos on everyone out here. Like in the parking lot? Yeah. He's sticking them in people's mouth. No, don't put them in my mouth. No. Open the mouth. Open the no. mouth. No. No. Come on, open. No. Eat the taco, man. Be the taco. No. Fucking eat the fuck taco, man. Come on, man. Eat it. Hello? Hello? Who is this and who is the man king to? Because I gave him a taco. Who is this? My name is Taco. Bueno. Hello, buenas noches. Buenas tardes. He's sticking banana peppers Hello? in my ass. Hello? Put in the top. Yes. Yes. Hello? Hello? Hi. Can you hear me okay? I can now. How may I help you? Okay, good. Yeah, we have a little situation brewing in the room here. Which room? Oh, it's uh, the the room, uh, the top room uh, on the corner there. And what's the number? Oh, a zero? Thank you for calling the Comfort Hotel and Suites in Peterborough. Alice speaking. How can I help you? Hello. How are you doing, ma'am? Good. And you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fabulous. Listen, I got a little situation in the room. Uh, my, my boyfriend uh, stepped on my balls. And now my voice is still It was like an this. accident. It was an accident, huh? Okay, and how can I help you? Uh, I don't know. How can you help? How do you deflate these oh, things? Oh, Wait, no, they are deflated. How do you reinflate them? Put the holes up your testicles. You are aware this is a hotel, right? Oh, I thought this was a what? clinic. You thought this was a what, sorry? A clinic! No, this is a hotel. Oh! We thought this was... We thought this was the Magical Kingdom Clinic. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Talk um, to my boyfriend! I gotta uh, figure out a way to fix this. this. Alright, uh, well, best of luck finding come a on, clinic. Come on, let's come. Have a nice night. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, well, you have a lovely day. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Do you want to go goon in the clubhouse? Good evening, Nathan Lindsay. How can I help you? Hello? 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 Yes, how can I help you? What is this? This is a hotel. What is this? This is a hotel. How can I help you? Yes, I would like the Chutia Suite. Yeah, I'd like the Chutia Suite, please. Sorry, you got a wrong number. There's no suite here. What? You got a wrong number. Can I have the Maru Suite? So the Maru Room? You got a wrong number. It's called. No, it's called the London Maru Room. I see it on the website. You got a wrong number, my friend, okay? We don't have that room. No, I don't. I don't like being talked to that way. I said we don't Banshot. have that room. Okay, thank you. Have a good day, bye. Yeah, but why, why be banshot? Why? Sorry, what is it? Why are you being a banshot? Why? Hello? Hi, this is the front desk. Can you come over here, please? I beg your pardon? Can you come to the front desk? No. Why not? 
Sorry, we need you to come over here. We had a complaint. About what? Um, well, that we just that people keep hearing noises coming from your room, and I didn't really want to talk over the phone. I wanted to come tell you face to face, you know, very personal stuff, and I would appreciate if you just came to the front desk, please. Hello. Good evening, Sir Motel. Hello. Hi, Guru. Hello. 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 Good evening, Sir Motel. Hello. 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 Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Oh, good. Yes, yes. We've got a situation out here. There's a guy, he's got his pants down. Uh, he's He says he's the taco man. And he's trying to shove tacos down people's throats. And he says he works for you. He says he... Hey, come on, man. Get a taco. I don't want it, man. Go away. Uh, come on, man. Can you can you talk to him? Because I don't think he, he works for you. It seems really weird. I I working for them. I work for them, man. Come on. No, I don't want to. No? I don't want it. Open your mouth. Oh, no. No. Open. No. Well, it was a Hello, finally. Thank you. Hi, uh, yeah, there's a guy out here. Uh, he says he works for you. He has towels. He said he's the towel man, and he, uh, but he has like this big windowless van, and he's trying to get, he's trying to get us to like take a look at, you know, the towels, I guess. And he said he works for you though. Like I, I needed more towels. That's why I went outside because I was gonna come down to you and see if you had towels. But, you know, if he's gonna offer me towels, I just want to make sure this is, you know, legit and not. Not some sort of, you know, situation that would put me in lots of trouble, you know? Do you like know? You, you are staying here? Yeah, yeah. I was coming down to get more towels. But this guy, oh. he, he said, oh, come over here. Come over here. I have towels over here. But he's got, like, a windowless van. I'm kind of worried he's going to, like, you know, take me or something. Does hey, he man, you need towels? Yeah, I need towels. Yeah, how many towels you got, man? Um, got a lot of clean towels, but you gotta come get them in the van. Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, hold on one second. Ma'am, ma'am. Which room you think? Oh, I'm staying with my wife. I, I don't have the key card. She, she's out with another guy right now. Uh, mm. she's getting drunk with him because she's, you know, she's having a, a baby with him. Well, I'm not even married to her. I'm just, you know, common law. Like, you know, we live together and it's just, you know. No, but he, which room you think here. here. Oh, I don't know. She had the key. I, I, I left the room, and I, I don't remember which door I left. I, I have no idea. Oh, so... I, I've, been, I've been drinking, too, because, you know, we're making a, a drunk baby. A drunk toilet baby. I got a beer in my van, too. Come on, you want you beer, beer? Man? Come on. Uh, this is getting better and better. Listen, ma'am, but does he where are you? Right you? now you are not... Right now, you are at the mall, like in the front door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out here. It's out here. The guy's got this windowless van here. He said he works for you, though. He's got the towels and he's got beer. No. I'm going to go with him. Yes, I think for them. I Hang think I'm going to go her. with him. She doesn't know. Come get the towel and the beer. Okay, but what's that smell? Um, well, you know what? We, nobody was in the losing. van. We go. Oh, okay, but I feel really woozy. What? Breathe, breathe, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, the towels are really go nice. To okay, go to sleep. I'm going to sleep in here. here. Go to sleep, little pendejo. Go, me, me, come with me. And I take you to the bed.
taking my pants off. Where am I? Lady, hanging up the fucking phone right now. Where'd my underwear go? It's yeah. okay, it's okay. We have... I love it. That's my turn, David speaking. I love your pussy. Hello? Hello? Best Western touch David it, speaking. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it! Hello? Hello? Oh, hi! Hi, how are you doing? Uh, I'm okay. How are you doing? Oh, I'm okay. Uh, I had a question about your, uh, your, your hotel. If you had any vacancies for tonight for uh, two men. Um, let me just check and see. Okay. No, it looks like I'm all sold out today, but um, if you want, I can give you the number of the other Best Western um, on Memorial Avenue. Wait, Best Western? Oh, no, that's disgusting. Ugh. Yuck. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Ugh, it's not you, it's just the brand, you know? Ugh. Okay, uh, would you like a phone number for one of the other hotels in the area? No, 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 I'll, I'll find it myself. I, I, I obviously failed myself this time. I'm sorry. Okay, well, You have a I good night. Apologize. It's my fault. It's my fault. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm the asshole. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. I, I really do. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you for calling. You too. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. I love you. Nice to have you. Hello? Yeah, do you guys have, like, extra towels? Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, what's your room number, sir? What is your room well, number? Well, let me tell you about this. What's what's the damage charge? Like, if, say, the carpet is stained? Like, what you did, like, on a carpet? Like, okay, well, I'll level with you. So, my teenage daughter is pissed we're taking this family vacation because she wanted to stay at home with her boyfriend. And mm -hmm. in retaliation, she does this at home all the time. So, like, I'm used to it. I know it's going to sound weird, but she makes herself throw up, like, on the floor and on the bedding and stuff. So, right now, she's really pissed. There's, like, puke all over the floor. So, I don't know if, like, do you guys do, like, carpet cleaning and what the charge would be for that? Or... $250. We had... Oh, shit. Okay, so she had... We had Chipotle before this. And this is, totally. like, very red. We had Chipotle, you know, the restaurant Chipotle. So there's, yeah. like, beans in the carpet, like beans mm -hmm. and red sauce, you yeah. know, from her vomiting. Yeah. Um, wow. Is that, gonna, is that still 250 Yep. Okay. Um, that's the max charge, though, right? So, like, if we can't get a handle on this, if she keeps barfing, it's only going to be 250 yeah, I I can like. Uh, what's your room number actually? I mean, I don't really want to say right now just because of what's going on. Um, but what is the room number? She's in the tub right now throwing up. But which room number? Let me, let me put my husband on. He can. He's better at dealing with this. I'm kind of stressed out right now. Let me put my husband on. Yeah. Can you please honey, come on for next, please? Honey. Yeah. Honey, grab the phone. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yes, who's there? Oh yes, hi, yes. Uh, I'm uh I'm his brother. I'm, I'm helping my daughter. Uh she's rage puking right now. Uh the room number. What's the room Let's number? See. Well, we, we put us by the uh stairs here. Um I don't have the, the details in front of me. I don't know. And I can't I can't uh I'm hard of sight. And she's really, she's really dropping a lot. It's What's okay, the honey, number? Just let it go, let it go. Uh, What's the room number? Well, it was, she's urinating on herself, too. Uh, two. Hello? Yeah, it was two. Honey, don't take the phone. No, don't take the phone. No. What? What's the room number? 
Do you hear this? What's this the room is what number? we're dealing with right now. We're having a parenting crisis, sir. Like, <coughs> yeah, but what's the room number? Are you staying here Listen, or no? What should we do? Yes, we're staying here. No, what, here, what's your room number, buddy? Throw up all over. There's bark. What is your room number? All over. Just like. So what's the room number? Do you hear this? But what's the room number, buddy? It's like two two one two one two, I think. I'm not sure. I'd have to go outside. <laughs> and she's naked, throwing up in our room right now. And now That's why I'm asking you. Shit. What's your room number? I can't open the door. She's naked. Where, where did you, you call? She's peeing. We are at the night inn. Yes, the night inn. Yeah, but which room number are you staying in? Uh, we're next to this German guy. I don't, I don't know. I, let me, let me go outside the room here real quick. Yeah, you just come over the front desk if, if you are staying in the night inn. Yeah? I'm going to see if he knows the room number. Let me knock on his door. Mm-hmm. Hello? Hello? Do you know... Hello, why are you knocking? He's asking, about a, he's asking about the room numbers. I don't know. My daughter's in there throwing up. Oh my goodness, I can smell it from here. That is crazy. Wait, just put her head under the tub. Yeah, put her head in the toilet until the bubbles stop. And then when she comes to, we'll, we'll have a talk with her. But yeah, just keep her head. Yeah, keep it pressed under there, under the water. No, I know she's flailing. Keep her head under. That that's normal. She usually loses control of her bowels when we do. Nice to meet you. Hello, Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, I'm calling because I got one of your rooms. I'm staying up here, and in the room next to me, there are many awful sounds that sound like they're retching, like the <coughs> and the the farting Buddy, and the puking noises. Where, where did sure. you call? Where did you call me first? Did you this stay in the night, night in or King's Inn? Not the night in, not. The night's in, yeah. Night in where? Well, you don't know where you are. I come all the way from Germany, call you the right hotel. You don't know where you are. I'm telling you, the guests in the room next to me, they are making the farting What's the room and the number? puking noises, What's the room number? and I cannot sleep. The... I'm not, I think the room, their room is perhaps like 215 or 2115. I'm not sure I'm from Germany. I'm not used to the number. No, no, no. We don't here. have any room number under that name. So that's a well, king's in. You are numbers, calling so on the really wrong number. Okay, you're calling on the wrong like number. You sound like a little bit of a lazy American asshole, if you ask me. But I'm going to go next you door. You can, you can, you can, you can call the king's in. I'm knocking on their yeah, doors, and I'm beating on their doors. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to find out what these noises are. Just what? Canada, dude. Damn. All Star Motel. Hi, uh, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to get in touch with my wife there. I'm not sure. Wait, what's the number? She was on the first floor, uh, and she was alone. Okay. Well, first off, we don't have two floors. We only have one floor. We're only- okay. So it was the first floor, the only floor. Okay. Well, first off, what's her name? Uh, it's Jenny. Jennifer. Okay, what's her last name? It's Dizzy. D-I-E-E-Z-Z-Z-Y. She's a social media influencer. You may have heard of her on uh, on uh, YouTube. And she was on the Today Show with uh, Regis Philbin. And, uh, okay, are and you Kathy sure Lee Gifford. In, yeah, are you sure she's in this motel? I don't have anyone with that name. Uh, it might be under my name, which is Harry Johnson. 
What is she? She's not traveling with me though. I I made the booking. Uh, you what? you may have heard of me. Okay. Uh, I have the largest Johnson uh, in the industry. That's why my name is Harry Johnson. I changed my name legally about 17 years ago. Uh, after the first internet boom with with my pornographies. Okay. Can, can I tell you something? We don't, first off, we don't take reservations, so maybe you have the wrong motel. Oh, you don't take porno reservations. I I got you. I understand. Uh, it's normal. It's normal. I, I've been persecuted my whole life because of the whole situation, really. And the fact that my parents named me Harry, and uh, my last name actually is Johnson. You see. Okay. Hello, Milkman. Hey. Hello. Hi, there's a man here named Milkman. He says he works with you guys. Who? Um, his Milkman. What's he says? His name is Milkman. Hi, I'm the Milkman. Hey, you want to buy some milk, buddy? I'm selling some milk. Would you come over here. Do you have a? Uh, do you have double Dutch oven butt milk? Yeah, that's our favorite number one selling brand, Double Dutch Butt Milk, Butt Milk, right in front of the milkman. I want to open here Can you make in my some? van. Yeah, come on over here in my van without the windows. I'll let you sample for, for free. You're all cute. What's in the your van? Name, honey? Yeah, what's your name, honey? Candace. Oh, Candace. Hi, yeah, I had some questions uh, because a guy, he, he pulled over. I was looking for towels, more towels, and he had a, a windowless van. And, well, we had a little situation here, and I I, I went with him for a little while. And uh, he force-fed me tacos. I'm okay. Like, nothing bad happened, but it was really a weird situation. I was just wondering if that was normal for here or not. If you could give me a call back at this number, that'd be great. That really, you know, it would help me feel... Uh, like, because he said he worked for you, so I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, now I'm, you know, recant, you know, recollecting, uh, trying to figure out what exactly happened last night. But if you could give me a call back, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Bye. Duck Mountain Motel. Duck Mountain Motel. Hi. Hello, stupid. Hello? Hi. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, there's a guy Hi. out here. He's trying to take my ears. Give me your ears. What the fuck? He's taking my ears. I don't want to. Give me your ears, please. No, you can't have my ears. Those are my hey, ears of corn. I need you to listen. Huh? Give me your fucking ears right on? now, man. Come on. <laughs> I want his ears. I'm going to eat them in my soup. Not my ears. <laughs> Give me your fucking ears right now. I'm gonna eat that shit like a goddamn foil wrapped chicken. No, that's my dinner. <laughs> Bend over. Not again. Bend over. I'm gonna what? give you some. I don't know. Not the ears. <laughs> no, not the ears. Can you feel that? Can you I feel, feel that? Ears. I'm coming. My ears. <laughs> what the fuck is that about? Well, keep on touching your ears. Okay. You're gay. My ears. The fuck? The fuck? Who the fuck are you calling gay? Who the Pick fuck are you calling gay? Pick your ears instead of your nose. Oh, my ears. What'd you say? My fucking ears. You fucking ears. heard me. Pick Don't your ears instead of your nose. The fuck? You acting stupid in front of your fucking girlfriend? What do you need your mama to have your back all the fucking time? You can't handle your problems like a real man? Pussy? <laughs> the fuck? 
Hey, what are you doing to that man's ears? You're a fuck pussy. See, you don't even have anything to say because you know I'm right, bitch. Hang up the fucking phone and get back to work, motherfucker. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know. Stupid motherfucker, you fucking idiot, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Talk tough on the phone there, buddy. <laughs> If I fucking yeah. seen you, you wouldn't even want to know what I would do. You'd be in the fuck. Your dick would be in the dirt. Your Ooh, dick would be in the you dirt. You'd be fucking you Mother Earth, years? bitch. Fuck it, suck my dick, you little pussy motherfucker. You would like that. You would like that. <laughs> right. It's a good time. He just might. I really think he's gay. Is there a point to this? Yeah. I... Yep, you are. Hey. How should I know? You would like that. Why is that the first thing nose. this guy says? Why is that this big tough guy? Why is the first thing he says is to suck his dick? What does that fucking tell you about this man? He's fucking gay. Hey. Hey. I know who you are. Please come to my room. What kind of fucking grown ass man would tell another man to suck his dick? A fucking gay one. That's why. He needs to fucking hang up and get back to work. Oh, okay. Pick your ears, not your butt. You didn't tell me why you were concerned. Yeah, yeah, why are you concerned? 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 Why are why are you concerned? I don't want you to explain it to me. I never asked you to explain it to me. My corn. I said, why are you concerned? Are you still talking? Why are you concerned? I'm not yelling at you. I'm talking to you. Why are you concerned? Why? Why why does that concern you? Why does that concern you? Bleep, bleep. Who cares? Huh? Pick your ears instead of your butt. So why are you telling me? Butt. I'm concerned about a large concentration of corneas. Why are you concerned? I'm concerned about the calculus, so there's too much calcium in the catheter. I want to hear why. Tell me why. Because these stupid people are too stupid to hang up the phone. Why? This call may be monitored why? or yeah, recorded why? for why are you concerned? purposes. Hi, who is this? Hermanito. Where did you say you were calling from? Taco Bell. It's funny that you should call because my third eldest, Larissa, was talking about it last week. Like the first Elvis. Someone did call Larissa. last week about Ooh, the same thing as you. Is that the one we fucked in the ass last week? She was the I first so. in the family to go to university. Noting the so we're all really of course, of her. behavior. <laughs> of course, she talks about the ass. Right about the fucking ass. Not a pussy. man wants to suck ass. dick and yeah. fuck man's yeah. asses. Check, check. That's like 25 points on the gaydar. This guy's so fucking deep in the cup that he found old ass Christmas presents. I bet he thinks he's so like like he's just too alpha to hang up. Like he he thinks that like wasting his own time is basically like a fucking prideful you, stand. Like he's doing something, you know? No, he's just concerned about how many gay boxes he's checked. <clears throat> he's probably got a little boner right now, which is fine. He he all the gay, gay boxes. boxes. He's a little hey. tough for punishment. That's why he's on the phone still. Now, we've mentioned gay too many times. Now, Milkman's here. Hey. Did you call someone else at the same time? No, Milkman's. Maybe Ooh, they milk can be man. friends. Can I like the Milkman's. Love the Milkman. You need a friend, sir? I'm a sucky dick. Well, maybe not that kind of friend. 
on the telephone. What? I'm going to make all kinds of love you. to you. Virtually. Are you guys like gaming or something? Like, how do you guys all on the same phone from line? I think we're all alone. Hello? Ah. Hello? Elasma. Elasma. Bonjour, les amis, comment ça va? Bonjour, bonjour, les amis, comment ça va? Hello? Bonjour, bonjour, comment ça va? Hello? I'd like to reserve a room for tonight. Ring, ring, hello? Ah, who? You want what? Did your net go down? I feel like we're in the void. Cream is on young boy. Like in sky. Look, man, I want to I want to reserve a room for a night, please. How many How many nights? <laughs> please press five to hold. Okay. You provide the jar, or will you bring it? What? And then we got a fucking Indian man. His name is Nunu. Ha ha. Oh. That's that Tourette's guy. I heard of him. Oh, really? Because I can tell you right now, my husband. <laughs> Your husband what? Hello? If, you if he was here there. and harassed he's here me, right and harassed now. He me on my show. He would speak up for himself, but he's pussy. He's chicken. He's a little chicken. He's and too he busy knows holding lanterns. He's holding something, all right. Motherfucker, what the fuck, you punk ass bitch? (laughs) I think we need to perform a seance. We need to revive this dead audio. Uh Nunu can be the sacrifice. All right, are you? All right. You fucking loser. This is David Hartcross, (laughs) paranormal investigator. I think Nunu. I don't know why he's probably the biggest pussy ever, Aww. like in the world. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, one. I mean, you kind of gotta have a little resilience to get the to be the butt of the joke that long and just hang out, man. You know, and not say anything, and not say nothing. Yeah. I can't resist Mm-mm. saying. I shit. think that's fear, right? <laughs> I'm. I, I think that's fear. I think it goes like him just being scared of somebody finding out who he is, and the fact that his main thing is Indians to kind of. Uh, Distract it from us finding out that he himself is an Indian. We're gonna hear your voice. We're gonna track you down. Do you you have something against Indians? I can see you typing, Axla. Do you have something against Indians? Where are you at, Axel? No old old deal with you. Meet me up somewhere. We can't see you typing. Yeah, we can see you typing. We can't hear you. We don't know if you can hear us. Hello? Quality in front of this hole. Hi. No, I can't. There's water on the floor. Help. No. <laughs> Let me see what they said to that. Thank you for calling me. Uh, Hello? Hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking my fingers inside of Canada's tone hole. Sorry? And it feels real good. I'm sticking my fingers in the tone hole. Uh, you're called in Basin, Yorkton. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the room. I'm sticking my fingers inside the tone hole. And it feels really good. <laughs> it makes a noise. Sorry if I annoy you on YouTube or whatever. I literally just try to drive engagement up. Oh, hello. Yeah, we need to engage in the room. We're driving engagement to the hotel uh, through social media. We are having media. an engagement. And we want to I'm a little gay boy. Oh, uh, but, uh, okay, we're in a rush. We, we need a little help here, you know? Uh, I don't think my boner uh, will last that long. Sorry, I have a guest right engage. now. Can I just put on for one, please? We need to have an engagement right now. <laughs> Okay, just wrong with you. Run oh. a family-owned... ...with fucking Apple Apple. I didn't know. I'm sorry. He's okay. Hello? Hi, Bella Vista. Hi, can you hear me? Pardon me? I'm from Germany. I'm staying in your hotel for the first time. I have a question for you. Okay. 
There was a man in here. He insists that I call him Daddy Fat Sacks, but he said he was like the bathroom attendant, and so he like helped me in the bathroom and all that, as a bathroom attendant does. It's my first time in America, and he helped me very good. But the question is like. We're playing Monopoly, and there's a bit of a dispute, and so this man does work for you, yes? <laughs> Try to mix up the fucking... Good evening, thank you for calling Simon Signature. Hello, I'd Hi. Like... Hi, how can um, I help you? There's a German man here. There's a German man here, he has a donkey. His name is Angus. You can pet him and you'll feed him carrot. Okay. He he said he works for you guys. Um, mm-hmm. that he brings the donkey every Friday night. Mhm. That's I it. I bring the donkey to the hotel. We do a donkey show. You like I sell fertilizer if you need that for donkey. But we also do donkey show. Anything else? Is this else? guy legit? Do you know this guy? Why you ask if I'm legit? I'm legit. I sell donkey show for the hotel. You can see my shirt. No, I'm not interested. Fuck you, lady. You fucking... You fuck you, too. No, you... Motherfuck. You bitch, you. Hang up their phone. Fucking fuck you I what said I fuck hanging I fuck. up the phone. Hanging up the no. phone now, lady. No. Jess, hang up now. No. Yes. No. You better listen to me. Listen to a man. Listen. Mm-hmm. You want to listen to a man or no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My donkey very soft. You pet my donkey. I work for a hotel. There's stupid bitches on the phone. They know, don't know nothing. Don't listen to them. Okay. I'm going to make you ride the donkey. Yeah? Yeah. You're going to like it. Yeah. We are I needing really cat. fat meow. bitches. Meow. Meow. Yeah, so we need fat bitches. Oh, act like animals so you're a donkey. Meow. Meow. You're a pussy, meow. You're a pussy cat. Give yeah, me the pussy, pussy cat. Come here. Yeah, why don't you yeah. bend over? Come on. Yeah. Meow. What else do you want? Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty. Come here. Kitty. Kitty. Come here. Yeah. Meow, 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 meow. If you meow, want meow. donkey and cat show, meow. it's going to be extra for the donkey show. Meow, meow. Here, little pussy. Here, little pussy. Yeah. What do you Come need? Come here, little pussy. Come here. I need your oh, pussy. No. Come here. No. Why would I? Yes. Cause no. you love it. You love it. You're yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yes. You love it. Yes, you love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Mm-hmm. Mm. What do you want? Um, mm. I want you to turn around, bend over, and and open. Really? That's it? Well, she has spoken all the secret passwords and cat, so I think we go. We have her come to our room, and then we do the donkey show with the cat show. She pay extra. That is fine. It is all good. We call, come up. We have this party. She seems she coming up. She said all the passwords for all the things we're doing in the sexy with the hotel. Um, if you're a kitty, if you're a kitty, I'm a puppy. Really? <laughs> you sound like cow. You sound like a cow. You go moo. Are you a big fat cow lady? Wee 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 wee. Are you a pig or a cow lady? Which one? (laughs) 
See, I won. She she has to hang up now. I won because Knees she's a pussy. Knees breathe and heavy. There's fucking excess fat on her chest already. Pig spaghetti. She's nervous, but on the surface, I don't mean what I said about the pig stuff. You're you're probably beautiful. You're great. Why are you on the phone so long, though, honey? Make more barnyard noises. Big boy That's farts. Great. Your phone's breaking up hell of bad, bro. Your phone's just like cutting in and out. Oh, now. how's this now? You might be clipping with the drunkenness. It sounds like you're cutting in and out hell of fuck bad. Hello? Like, this is how you sound. You sound like this. Huh? Uh, well, when you talk, is this, any this better? is how you sound when you talk. Well, I get you. I like you. this, exactly like that. I'm going to blame this lady being on the phone for too long. I think she's gone. Hi. Hi, yeah, my USB cable uh, fell off. For the internet. I'm sorry. You're what? I, I was I was st- I was sticking the, the wire in the for the internet hole. So I, I needed the internet, so I, I stuck it in there, and it fell off. Like it, okay. it went, it went, it went, it went, shh, and there was smoke, and it poured out of the outlet, what? and now it's stuck in there. What room are you staying in? Uh, uh, well, right now I'm in the bathroom. I was trying to make it work in here, but there's no hole for the internet here. What so I was room wondering, are you? Oh, uh, it's uh, the two, I think it was 215. Or two, You're calling two, the wrong five. hotel then. Have a good night. Uh, well, which one? What, what, what? I didn't book the room. I usually do. Hi, I'm Hello? Yeah, I'm in the bathroom. Hi. I'm in the bathroom and I'm having a situation. I ate food I wasn't supposed to. And now my tummy is uh, its pushing it out very quickly in, in, into the wastebasket because I ran out of toilet paper. And uh, it's its clogged. And now the wastebasket is full, too. What, where should I, I place my... Um, where should I place my body now that everything is full and I can't flush it? This room number you everywhere. Oh, well, I don't quite remember because I've been in the bathroom all day. And I, I, that was a long time ago when I, I checked in. What was your name? Just, well... It's not under my name. It was under the church, the church group that I'm with. I, I don't yeah, know what whose name, name that's under. It like, was the Church of the Machine. So can you just tell me the name? Like, uh, or else I can't do anything about this. Well, it was Oral. Oral. Or, oral. Can you spell it? Can you just spell me your name, please? Well, it's not. that's not my name. It's their name. It's o- Oral. A O A R E L Oral. I think that's. We don't have any anyone under that name, so it will okay. be most probable. Well, my name is is Benjamin. It's a Benjamin uh, Chode, C H O D E, Ben Chode. T H. Benjamin. What was the name? Benjamin Chode. C H O D E Ben Chode. C H O D. Yeah, uh, Chode, Ben Chode. My we sister's here. Oh, well, my sister's here with me. Her name is Ben Kilodi. Can you spell it? Yes, it is uh, B H E N K E apostrophe L O D E. Uh, L O R D E. We can't find you. There is no one under that name, too. Sorry. Uh, let me put my brother on because he made the booking. Okay. So, if your uh, sister is over there, just had to come to the fender so that can figure it out. Well, they're busy coming uh, in the bed. Sorry? They're in the bed together. My wife and my sister. Yeah, just tell her to come to the front desk. Well, no, they're busy doing stuff. They're getting frisky in the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They locked me in the bathroom. That's why I can't, I, I don't know where I am, really. I mean. 
Thank you for calling the Reservations. This is Cathy. How can I help you today? Ah, fuck. Hi, Gabby. Do you want to get a room, me and my boyfriend, Gabby? Honor, you said me go ahead and assist you. One moment. It's going to be for two fucking. adults. We need a room for fucking. We, we really want to fuck each other's assholes. We do not tolerate profanity here. If you would be oh, talking about profanity, profanity that's, love. That's, that's love. That's love. That's love. It's What's the language of love. We don't. We don't have boundaries of ass and tits and pussy and balls and dick. May I know what's your first name so I can better assess you? Um, my first name is Ass, and his first name is Balls. Thank you for that information, Ash. You do have a good name. Are you doing well today? Let me go no, ahead and check my boyfriend's your... here. Honey, when can you talk to her? She's pissing me off. Hi, hello, hello. Hello, hello are you Peter. there? Hi, it's me, uh, God. I would like to make a, a room booking for fucking... Uh, for two people. I'm sorry, when loving. Will be checking, when will uh, you be checking in and for how many nights? Okay, it'll be uh, it'll be uh, March 33rd, which is uh, 8.5 days from now. Um, and, and my 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 kids are here with us. Would you like here? Let me put my my uh, my daughter on. Here, talk to the nice lady. Do you want to get a room for fucking? Hello. For this one, are you Owen the um, Rewards member by any chance? What? Are you Owen the um, Rewards member by any chance? What the hell is she saying? All right, take the phone back. I don't want to talk to her. Hello? No, we don't have any rewards. She has a triple-A discount. Are you... We need to, we need to get... Uh, we need to just get the base price here. And the, uh, Can you just connect us to the front? We got lost in the phone tree. That's why this is such a weird phone call. I thought you were the front desk, but you're just... Uh, you're just... Uh, you're trying to make a reservation. We already have a reservation. We're already here. We're, we have uh, the sex fucking room. It, it's It's full of sex and fucking. And that's the uh, problem. Uh, for this point, while I'm checking it for you, oh, uh, no, no, we're already here. We're already here. Uh, we already have me. a problem. We have a new offer for you. Where no, you I don't. I don't need an offer. I don't need any of that. No, that's disgusting. No, Dad, listen. She has a new offer for you. No, it's disgusting. It sounds like it might be really good. I want to hear it. A-I- for this one, uh, I, I'm not receiving any valid response in the other line. I will at least a call now. Thank you for calling. Have an evening. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Hello? Yep. Hi, uh, you have a script. When you answer the phone, like you say, Hi, my name is um, Mr. Ass, and I'm here at the front desk, and I like to shake it, shake it, shake it. Is that on your script? Because my wife, she said she called earlier, and that's what she was greeted with. What are you talking about? Uh, there was some man up uh, that answered the front desk earlier, and he said, he said, ass, 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 and then he, he liked to shake his ass. And my wife went down there, and he was there, and he was shaking his ass at her. Yeah, let me put her on. Honey, what? here, take the phone. It's the man at the front desk. He says he's not the guy that was shaking it. Take the phone. Okay, all right. Good evening, Service Loss Calgary South. How can I help you? Get your finger out of there. Get your finger out of there. It's stuck. Hello? You got your finger stuck in it, friend. Quit screaming. Hello, yes, uh, we have a whole problem in here. Hello, Madrid, how to help Hello? you? Hi, yeah, Hi. I was wondering if it's okay when I get there if I uh, use the, the light beam 
on my on my rocks from the eclipse, the, the crystals, they, they're all, all overcharged, but I gotta let them, like, you know, phase out a little bit when I'm in the room. I just wanna make sure you have, like, a lamp in there that I can just put it, like, near the lamp, the light. Yeah, it's in here. Okay, and do you wanna to touch my crystal? Because they're charged with the sun, you know, the eclipse. They're, they're all charged up now. So I can I can take you places, you know. We can go to the moon. You know, you just gotta blow on it a little bit. Take me to the moon. You know. Let's go get it downtown hotel and sweet by apart from this cup and help you. Hi, um, I just got in my room and I pulled mm -hmm. back the sheets and there was some like lingerie on the bed, like women's sexy clothing. You know why that would be there? Can I, can I have the room number, sir? Two fifteen. I'm I'm sorry. Two fifty. I I cannot hear you, sir. Which room number? Two. Hello. What two the fuck 15? is your problem? Stop. Yeah. We don't have two fifteen, sir, in this hotel. Oh, I'm sorry. Which I read it wrong. It's one twenty five. It's one twenty five. Yeah. I read it wrong. Sorry. One twenty five. Mhm. Mm we don't have also one twenty five, sir. Yes, that's 125. Which, which? We have you here, sir. How can I help you? Yes. Um. Good evening. Thank you for calling the Royal Hotel Calgary. I'm assist you. Hello? Hi there. Hi, I'm staying in one of your rooms and I got a bit of a complaint. Okay. Well, listen, there's crumbs in my bed. What's your room number? Um, I'm not sure. I'm in the bed right now, but I guess I got there's mayo smeared on the lamp. There's evidence of a sandwich or something in bed here because there's cheese in the ear hole of the phone. I got lettuce in my pillowcase, man. What are you gonna do to rectify this? Well, give me your room number first. I think it was two fifteen or two one one five. I'm not sure. I'm kind of dyslexic. I may have read it wrong. What's your last name then? Uh, my last name is Hardcross. Is that the name on the reservation? Um, I, it might be. I'm not sure if they put it in mine or my producers. But yeah, we're out here to shoot a show, honestly. But there, there's like a lot of there's like sandwich ingredients. Like my producer Ted just opened this fucking drawer and he pulled out a whole loaf of bread, but it doesn't have its plastic on it. Uh, yeah, it's really strange. stale. Yeah. Uh, just come down to the lobby and... Yeah, the lettuce in the pillowcase is wilted. Sorry? Yeah, come down to the lobby and we can give you a room move. Well, I can't do that because we got a whole production here because I got a camera crew and everything and that entails because we were doing a show here. But I was calling kind of about this complaint because I, I, my boy, my uh, the camera guy... Uh, you know, he went to the fucking bathroom and he said when he flushed the toilet, he couldn't, like, it smelled like pickle juice and he took the lid off the tank and it was just filled with whole dill pickles. And he thinks they're, he thinks they're sweet pickles. Uh, sir, I, I, honestly, uh, we didn't check any film crew today, so I don't know if you're calling the right hotel or uh, I'm not sure. Well, I think we've already established that I am. You told me to come down, so I think you need to really come up because this is kind of... They didn't tell you that I was coming, David Hardcross? No, I don't see anything on the reservation. And if this is a crank call, then uh, I think... Yeah, but uh, you didn't probably didn't other. spell it right. It's not a common name, you know what I mean? It's not just... Well, if it's, no, I'm, I'm saying if it's a prank call, then uh, I think you got the wrong hotel, I'm, unfortunately. Well, I'm not going to... I wouldn't if do that to you. It, Does people do that anymore? If it's a prank call, what's your oh, problem? Yeah. If it's a prank call, what yeah, are you going to do? Yeah, that's my camera guy. Uh, first of all, I don't see you on the reservation, so... And we never had any proof. Well, first yeah, but of you all, never established how you spelled it, sir. And Sorry? even if it was, what are you going to do about it? You're not going to do anything about a prank call anyway. It. You didn't spell it right, probably. That's what I said. That's what I said. You need to come down to the lobby. Look, so I walked in here. There was mustard on the door frame when I crossed the threshold. 
Yep, and uh, whatever room number. Someone's been me. making a bad sandwich in here, and it smells like rotten meat. And it's like, what's happening? It's all the prank. Hello? Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you doing tonight, honey? I'm doing... How can I help you? Uh, we got a little situation outside here. There's a guy... Uh, I came down for more towels. Uh, uh-huh. And he's he's got like a windowless van here. And he keeps saying, oh, he's got towels. But I'm a little concerned because he says he works for you. But I, I don't know. He does have towels. The hole inside it looks like it's all towels. Where is this at? It's out here by the. You want the, a fucking uh, towel, man? Well, yeah, I want a towel, but you said you work for this guy, but I, like, are you wearing? That's not the uniform, is it? Yes, yes, I'm working right now. Come on, come oh, to the van. Okay, but do I have to pay him money? Do I pay him a tip? I left my my wallet in the room. No, you. Know, I don't know who this person is. I'm the only one that works here. Oh, but he said he said um, he works for you. It does not. I it's okay. You don't have to tip me. I'll give you a little tip. I'll give you a little tip. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. Thanks. Thank you for calling Days Net Pocomus. This is Kelly speaking. How can I help you? Kelly, uh, can I speak to the man? There's a guy there, right? Uh, no, there is no man here. God damn it. Well, can you come help me out? Nope. Sorry. You bitch. Thank you for calling Days in the Pocahontas. This is Kelly speaking. How can I help you? Kelly, do you just not like your job? Is that it? That you don't want to help people out with the things they need in the room? Um, should you get another job? Something here that we don't know how to finish. Bring Hello? River Lodge. Hi, yeah, I'm starting things in the room that I don't know how to finish. Uh, I was taking a, a, a bowel movement earlier. I don't know how to how to make it go away. How do I make it go? Do what? I don't know how to make it go. Like the toilet, it doesn't want to go. It doesn't want to like take the the waste away. Like I push the button, and it doesn't go. Is there something special I have to do to make it go? What room are you in? I'm in the bathroom right now. Uh, my wife, she locked me in here because I was having trouble with my bowel movement. I'm on medication for it, and it finally let loose. Uh, now I don't know how to make it go away, though. Is there a, is there a handle that I'm missing here? Because I don't see any way to make it go. As far as I know, all our toilets have a handle. None of them have a button. Yeah, I can't find the handle on it. Mm. It's smooth all around. Like I put my hand on the on it, and it's very smooth. I don't. Is it supposed to be this way? I'm scared. I'm scared because I don't want to break anything. Hello? It's a new stay at the courtyard by Marriott Russellville. This is Cheryl. How can I help you? I have a a question. Maybe you can help me. Okay. Um, There's something wrong with the bathroom. Okay. Like what? I don't know. I just, I don't like it in there. Like, I don't, I don't like it. Okay. What room are you in? I'm, so like, so I just go in there. But what room are you in? I, what room are you in, And then I sir? pull down the little handle, sir, or do I push the button to make in? the toilet plush? What room are you in? Uh, the big room. I'm in the big, big room. Uh Uh-huh. What's the room number? What's the last name on the room? So, I'm asking you a question, please. I'm asking Um, you a question, too, please. I need to find out where you're at. That's why I'm asking for the last name or the room number. 
We have more than just one. I asked first. Well, I asked first, so we'll do it this way. You'll answer my question, then I'll answer yours, okay? To make it fair. What so do tell I me do your now? question. I, I don't know. What is the what problem? What do I do now? I, I'm, I'm sitting down and, and I'm just, do I push the button or do I pull the handle down to make it go? I'm sorry, just a minute. I'm sorry? How do I make it go? Do I, I pulled my pants and panties down and now I push the button and flush it. How do I make it go? You tell me what room you're in so that we can take care of it. I don't want you to come in here while my pants are down. Then there's nothing that I can do. Lady, you really want to come in the room when my pants are down? No, not particularly, but you could always pull your pants up before I come into the room. I'm not finished. That's what I need then help Then finish with. and we'll deal with go? it then. Finish and we'll How deal with it I then. What do I do? How do I do that? Hold on a minute. Or enjoy a beverage from our on-site bar. Our 24-7 <laughs> market has everything. Hold on or enjoy a beverage. Park Hotel, how can I help you? Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm okay. Um, my car is making a funny noise, and we're like gonna we're gonna try and stop in in, you know. We're gonna try and okay. stop it, right right there. But I just want to make sure like it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, because the brakes they're not, I don't know that they're working. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Because we tried, you know, we tried doing it one way and then we did another way and it doesn't you know it doesn't go right and so i'm not really I'm sure so what are you asking me exactly oh uh, well i'm here with my wife here hi i am a little bit intoxicated and i may have done a little bit of drugs so i'm gonna flip a yui right now and I have a feeling that our business has already concluded for the night. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hold on, hold on. Ah. Milkman, you want to take us out of here? Uh, yes. Get us around in our uh, teacups. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you have it, kids, friends, family, all you horse machines, my beloved family. You know what? Our Madhouse Militia family is on a journey together. Together, we can overcome all adversity, pain and fear and anger in our world. Learning that laughing at our problems melts away the grief of our troubles. So we find that our strength is the power of laughter, kindness, and joy. We're learning that the differences are trivial and we're all really more alike than different. That we're healing our collective souls with the magical power of laughter right here on the Madhouse Militia Show every week, Friday at 10 p.m., right here in your earballs. And uh, just as a reminder, I want to thank everybody that offered up prayers and good wishes for Mama Milk. Mama Milk is out of the hospital and she's kicking booty. That's right. Horse cock. <laughs> The Bad House Militia is saving the world one laugh at a time. We're dropping the dimes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your good wishes. That's right. Because we've been dropping the dimes. We don't ask that you 
give us a time. Better yet, bring a friend or an enemy. Either one is welcome right here in the Mad Lash because we got all kinds of room right here in this crazy militia world family spreading all across the globe, spreading the love and the kindness of our dear leader, the Hermanito with the golden headphones up in heaven, inspiring us all to mourn more laughter and spreading the joy and eliminating all these crazy problems in the real life and right here in the real life inside this gigantic El Marco de la Madre flying across the sky. Y'all, welcome back and we'll see you on our next trip. We pass through all fist held high from Madhouse Militia Machine. Couldn't do without my dear brother Axel. Thank you so much, dear Axel, for helping me carry this gigantic torch forward to light the world up with laughter and kindness. Thank you so much, brother. And thank you all, my dear Militia family, beloved. I love you. And thank you to Wasted Memory for BrokeServer.com, where we broadcast every week. Thank you for the mumble server and everything that actually works correctly. You know, I used to machine. Can't do it without sexy. you. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I think that's it. And I touched it And it felt real good Motherfucker, you Carlito Cross King of the Madhouse Gone too soon Motherfucker, you
You just called me. Who is this? Yes, hi. This is the Kenosha Lodge. You just called me. You said you have an issue. Uh Uh-huh. Would you like to elaborate? Oh, shit. I'm sorry, man. It must be a wrong number because I just got a scam likely guy. Okay, so you're not looking for lodging tonight. What number? Okay, have a good night, sir. What number? Sir, you just called me. Uh-huh. We're a lot. We rent rooms. If you don't need a lodge, if you don't need a room tonight, then our business is con- concluded. Thank you. Have a good night. What number just called you?